Hello guys, it's Jim from universitywithme.com and it's about cycling around the world. Today my topic is about how to prepare visa. This is the most simple, basic, important thing you must care. It's the first thing you care before entering at least few months. If you have such a like three months of plan to travel, and you must actually check at your home. But I'm traveling the world. I keep moving, so I'm just checking the uh, visa on like on the place where I'm traveling. You have to search on online in your language because every country has a different uh, contract with other country. And the second thing is that you cannot find the information. You have to call the actually embassy, the country you are going, and ask, uh, "Hey, I'm from this country." How can I get visa to enter your country? And they will tell you in Tajikistan, I need a Chinese visa. So I went to Chinese embassy in Tajikistan. I just walk in. There was one tip that at the end of my passport, I put the uh, picture. Because you know, when I apply a visa, they always ask a picture. I forget and lost. So it's really good tip. Another tip is that uh, <laughs> to get visa is quite uh, stressful, and I don't like actually people from embassy, any kind of embassy. People always treat me like criminal, so I usually don't feel comfortable. They are very cold, actually. Coldest people are maybe from embassy. I don't know why they have to be cold. But the uh, thing is that I try to be very uh, polite. This uh, thing that. So when I go there, and then usually I say, uh, good morning, sir. For Uzbekistan visa, I need a, a certification of uh, my job. But you know, I have traveled so many years. Of course, I didn't have a job. In this case, what can you do? Use the internet. Make fake, <laughs> make fake paper. But, I, you know, I always try to follow the law, but this is not the thing I did such a wrong thing, you know, right? Right? They ask uh, some requirement which I can approve, but I I don't know work in their country. I just need a visa. I'm not just tourist. Okay, then let's make fake uh, this paper. If they ask a flight ticket, round flight ticket, but you don't have such a plan, and then you can book the flight and then cancel. <laughs> this is a trick everyone is using. When I applied this uh, Kennedy uh, working holiday visa, one of the requirements for a Canadian working holiday visa was my bank account. I asked my relative, please, can you send $10,000 in my account? And I must give you bank after probing my bank account. How many visas did I need in like last six, 60 years? Latin America is easy going, but many people don't need the visa. So Bolivia, I applied. Ethiopia, I applied visa at the embassy. Sudan, I applied at the embassy. Sudan was a bit complicating that I had to go to the uh, embassy of South Korea and I asked a letter. And Europe, oh, so easy, 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 even I don't need a Russia visa. And Central Asia, Central Asia is the co uh, continent everybody needs visa except uh, some neighborhood country. So this kind of country, Central Asia, you can find the information so easily. This information is universal. And China, I just applied in South Korea. Do I ever use uh, agent to get visa for me? Yes, I use agent when I need, but I don't use agent if I can get by myself. For example, I couldn't get the Chinese visa, so I use agency. Uzbekistan, I need uh, the letter, so I must use uh, agency. Do I recommend carrying with you, uh, me at all times or living in hotel? That's a good question. It really depends. When I travel, I keep moving, and then I carry my passport. If I stay one place a bit longer, then yeah, I just leave it. Uh, I think there's two reasons. The country, they have a conflict with other countries. But I think the second reason is really the main reason that the countries 
economy is uh, not that strong. When people's salaries are lower and they cannot travel easily because other countries are afraid that this people country will work under the table. So this is the main reason that why some countries people really having problem. But still, I think it's really unfair that I you know I had a, I had a cycling partner and his country was very small and also GDP was low. So, but it was really painful to really watch him. That really so so difficult to get visa and. I'm sure it will discourage many, many people to travel the world and I'm, I feel so sorry that it happened to many people. But there's a somehow to get, there's somehow you can travel the world, you can make some paper and you can work hard to figure out how to travel the world. I hope my information was uh, uh, helpful. Thank you so much for watching. See you.